What's up, everybody? We're skipping the intro tonight. We just did the countdown. Had a router go down, so I had to reboot it. Hope everybody's doing well. I got a new toy. I got this guy right here. This is the Honeycomb Alpha, made by Honeycomb Aeronautical. And I am telling you what, guys. This piece of equipment, it is absolutely not even in the same universe as everything else. I'm just not even kidding. This is absolutely incredible. The the feel of this thing, I flew one quick flight just to try it and make sure everything was working before I went live. And I mean to tell you, hey Donovan, what's up dude? How's it going, man? Hope you're having a good day. It's just, it isn't even in the, I, no wonder I was all over the place. I couldn't stay centered on my runway. I'm all over the doggone map. I'm ballooning all my landings. You breathe on this stick, and it is just so beautiful. It has such good back pressure. And then instead of 45 degrees like the Logitech, this one goes 90 like a real airplane. So you have so much more finite control in the centers. It, it I can't even explain it, guys. Like It is absolutely, if you're going to be anything above a gamer simulator pilot, if you're even going to just get a tick above Xbox controller, this is the piece of equipment to spend money on. Like, I don't even have to use it any more than one landing to know that. So, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I wish you guys could see all the back panel, like, on the back.
back side of this. It has red LED lights. I'm going to get my other camera set up again soon so that we can see all that. Um, but I have beacon switches for landing light, taxi lights, navigation, strobe lights. Hey, Tony, what's up on Facebook? How's it going tonight, dude? Thanks for coming back. Sorry my router had to be rebooted. So, uh, yeah, so strobes, navs, taxis, landings, beacons, uh, alternator and battery, masters, avionics, bus one and two, and it even has a key to turn on mags and to start the plane, like, guys. So now all I need is the Bravo switch panel here, which actually has a real trim wheel, like a real airplane, and yeah, pretty insanely cool. So... That's my new toy. I was waiting for those things to come back in stock. The Alpha obviously came back. Um, the Bravo has a little bit of uh, time before it's going to be back in stock. So I'm uh, waiting on that. But anyway, how are you guys doing tonight? hope you guys had a good day today. I did. I am looking very forward to doing some more flying. So uh, if my friend Adam is here, um, he was part of that big B-17 restoration process that happened down at like uh, Southern Ohio, down like by Wright Patterson Air Force Base. And so my friend Mike and I flew up in Mike Cirrus to KBKL here, and we met up with those guys and followed them all the way over to Allegheny County in Pittsburgh, like Pennsylvania. So uh, I'm just going to fly that path again tonight and uh, see what we can see. Just jump in the Cirrus and go for a little flight, see how this uh, yoke handles. So let's get to it. We are ready to fly. Look at this, guys. I'm pretty stoked about this, too. So if you look at our panel right here, obviously you can see everything is turned off. And so when we start flipping switches here, we can turn our batteries on. And if you watch the switches right here, they actually move when I flick these. Pretty incredible. So we've got our avionics on. Coming up next. There we go, initializing system. And start, there we go, we got our flight plan in there and let's uh, let's go ahead and set our mixture is at rich. Make sure our throttle control is down at zero. Let's turn our boost pump set to prime. And now let's go ahead and turn this key, clear prop. Back to both. There we go. So that allows us to do a proper mag check. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so ridiculously cool. I'm pretty excited about this. So, um, yeah, so already just having this this yoke right here and all these different buttons for... So now we're going to click to go outside of the aircraft and we can go ahead and turn on... Um, if you look right on the ends of the wingtips, we can flip up the lights for strobes. And we got our strobe lights on. We can flick on our navigational lights. So we've got our red and greens. And then we can even turn on a landing light if we want to for taxiing. Oh, look at that, guys. So stinking cool. So there we go. So we got our lights on. And let's see. What else do we need? Let's go back into the cockpit. I'm still trying to get used to where all these buttons are. Because I had them before on my old one, on my Logitech. I'm really excited about the Honeycomb Bravo. So, all right, so 105 nautical miles. Let's go ahead and a bearing of 139. We're gonna turn our autopilot and our navigation on once we get up to. Um, we'll go ahead and set our altitude selector now. I'm gonna maintain 3500. So once we get into uh, our departure and we start getting onto our course manually, we'll, s we'll set autopilot to maintain us at 35. That's going to look pretty good. All right, guys, let's go ahead and contact the tower. Lakefront ground. Let's tune ATIS and see what our weather's doing here. Lakefront airport information, Quebec, 110 Zulu. Wind 279er at 3. 
Alright. Good wind, good visibility. Hey, Bob, how's it going? Marcos, thanks for the like. Ken, John Bowerman, thanks so much for liking my stream. And Demetrius Chapman followed two days ago over the weekend, and uh, JP Real Sweat followed over the weekend as well. So, thanks so much, guys. Hope you guys are having a good time tonight. I got this new honeycomb, and I'm telling you, if you're just tuning in, oh, this is butter, guys. Like, there is, it's second to none. YouTube review in process. I already filmed the unboxing tonight, so pretty excited. All right, let's tune ground. Get permission to take off, depart straight out. Light front ground coffee house November 42257. Echo ready to taxi straight on departure with Quebec. Coffee house November 42257. Echo taxi to and hold short of runway 24 right using taxiway Bravo. All right. Tower on 124 decimal tree when ready. Taxi to runway 24 right via taxiway Bravo and contact tower 124.357 five, seven, echo. All right, guys, let's go ahead and taxi out. Hey, Chaos Champ, thanks so much, or Chaos Camp, thanks so much for following on Twitch. We're getting ready to do uh, a little flight in the Cirrus SR22. We're heading over to Allegheny County, and I just got this new honeycomb flight yoke, and oh, to the M to the G, ladies and gentlemen. It is pretty amazing. Yes, acknowledge taxi clearance. Taxi eating hold short runway 24 right using taxiway Bravo Coffee House November 42257 Echo. Alright, guys, let's get the heck out of here, shall we? This guy don't want to get out of the way, so we have to go around him. Alright. Um, I got it for 249. Um, there's a lot of scalpers right now that are um, that are trying to get sell them for four and five hundred dollars. I have the Logitech yoke. That's actually what I've been flying on for the last couple months or for the last couple weeks, and uh, it just feels balloony. Like I would come in for a landing and I would feel like I would get down into ground effect, and right as I'm ready to touch down, I'd pull back just a little bit of back pressure, and the plane would just balloon like 10 feet up in the air. It just didn't feel right. And so I got this one, and I only did one landing in the Cessna 152 just to try it out before I went live, make sure it was working. Um, I didn't want to get on and then have it be an epic fail. So I uh, tried it out, and I mean, oh my goodness, guys. Like, I, I'm serious, like, it, it blew me away. I've flown, um, if you're just tuning in and new here, um, I am a real pilot, and I've got a number of hours in a lot of different airplanes, and this thing feels as close to a real plane as I think you can get as far as simulator gear is concerned. So, yeah, pretty excited, not gonna lie. All right, so we're just gonna taxi down here to the end of the taxiway Bravo to runway 24 right. I'm looking forward then to get the honeycomb. This is the alpha yoke. I'm looking forward to getting the honeycomb Bravo, which has like the trim wheels and all this other stuff. We can do mag checks and like all the lights and all the stuff has switches all over the dash panel right here. Um, I'll have my other camera put up tomorrow that you guys can see this direction so you can see all this stuff because it's, it's highly impressive. Oh, look at them lens flares, guys. I how wrong, long this runway. Hey, there's my friend Adam right there. He's gonna he's gonna go along. He was in this flight when we did it in real life. So good deal. Thanks for hanging out tonight, Adam. Redoing the uh, flight of the B-17 over to Allegheny. All right, let's get on these brakes here a little bit, guys. I wonder what that buzzing sound was. I forgot to turn my stupid boost pumps off. You don't want to do that in real life. All right, let's contact Lakefront Tower on 124.30. All right, let's get takeoff clearance.
All right, get takeoff clearance VFR from Lakefront Tower. Lakefront Tower, Coffee House, November 42257, Echo at runway 24 right, ready for takeoff, straight out departure. So, uh, yes, I have the, um... Hang on. All right, acknowledge takeoff clearance. So, um, I have the... So I have the Logitech yoke, the Logitech rudder pedals, and the Logitech throttle quadrant that I bought all as one package for like $359. Um, right now I'm using the Logitech throttle quadrant and the Logitech rudder pedals because um, the Alpha yoke was all that Honeycomb had back in stock. The Bravo will be the throttle quadrant with mixture and propeller controls that will come back in hopefully in another month. Uh, and then I'll swap that out. And then the Logitech rudder pedals are about the best ones going from what I've done my research on. And I like those. So I'll probably keep my pedals and just sell the yoke and throttle quadrant. So that's the that's the plan anyway. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, get ourselves taxied out here. Let's drop ourselves a notch of flaps for takeoff. Parking brake is off. pour the coals on this thing and get her done. Lakefront traffic, 57 Echo, departing runway 24 right. Alright, there's our 70 knots. Get this bird in the air here. Just the aileron control, like, it's so finite, guys. Oh my gosh, I love this. I'm going to switch to the outside view for those of you guys who are tuning in new. Uh, this is my hometown of Cleveland, Ohio, and if you look right off to the right here when you take off a of Burke Lakefront, this is the, or the left, this is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame right there. Kind of a neat little icon to see. Get our flaps up now that we're above 90. So there's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And I'm not a sports guy, but if you're a sports person, there is Cleveland Browns Stadium. Is the yoke plug and play? Yeah, I literally plugged it in with a USB cord, and that was it. It was perfect. There we go. Rock Hall, Cleveland Browns Stadium, Key Center Tower. Let's go ahead and get on course here. And Tower City Center right there. All right, let's get back into the cockpit here and get ourselves set up for intercepting our course. Force feedback. Now, um, none of the flight yokes that I'm aware of have force feedback, McKay's. Um, I don't think they have it yet anyway. I think some of them are working on that. Um, but it does have like a tension to it that that's got you know like it'll recenter when you let go. So it's but it feels good. Like the one that was um, in the Logitech, it just feels springy, and you can really feel like a detent in the center. It wants to stick there. So when you're coming in for a landing, you can't breathe on it. Like watch this. I can literally just pull back a little bit and look at the horizon. I mean, you just breathe on this thing, and it's so. Perfect. And like, watch, I mean, you just literally just push this a little bit on the aileron and look, you'll slowly start rolling. Like, it's so accurate, guys. If you're going to do any type of sim flying, this is a must, in my opinion. This thing is so good. I thought, well, you know, the Logitech's in stock, we'll get it. It's probably going to be fine. But, oh my goodness. Butter the bread, dude. Tony, I will try. Icon Bravo is faster. Yeah, I just like flying the Cirrus. Let's go for another epic flight. Yeah, I don't know if this one's going to be quite epic, but I'll tell you what, uh, Marcos, when we did it in real life, oh my gosh. I mean, when you're chasing a B-17 in a Cirrus SR-20, kind of a fun flight, not going to lie. All right, where's my buddy Adam? Adam was actually in the B-17. 
There he is. Hey, K-Train number 10 is flying along. Let's do this. I'm going to get on course here, Adam, I promise. All right, we're almost to our 3,500 feet. All right, let's go ahead and acknowledge frequency change. Let's get on a bearing of 139. Let's go ahead and get our autopilot on. Level mode is on. Autopilot is on. Navigation mode is on. Let's turn our CDI over to GPS here. There we go. And let's get altitude hold turned on. And we're just going to get rid of ATC for now. All right, so we got level mode. We got autopilot on. We got nav on. Let's turn our uh, heading bug just to 139 just so we have that where we want it. Okay, nav mode on. All right, let's go ahead and back our power down just a little bit. Why is my navigation mode not um, selecting here? Let's go heading to 139er. Okay, let's just do heading mode then, since this thing doesn't want to uh, cooperate. All right, so it will not let me engage autopilot. Hey, Faded Adam, how's it going? Do you own a plane? Um, I do not, but I'm going to be owning one here. Hopefully in the next year or two, I'm going to start looking towards getting one. Um, I do not understand why this is not coming on. It's super weird guys I don't know why it's not um, this plane always this always works maybe flying this one uh, manual like sorry uh, Adam and for those of you who are uh, so my best friend growing up through school his dad owned three and so I just flew theirs Yeah, it's very strange that my autopilot is deciding to not work. Like, none of this is coming on here. Well, I don't know. That's, uh, that's odd. I wonder if something got messed up when I plugged in that new thing to... The old one. I am excited for my introductory flight, flight soon. Have you scheduled it yet, Adam? Oh, nice. When is it? In a few days, providing decent weather. Oh, that's so awesome, dude. I'm so happy for you, man. You're going to love it. All 
Alright, let's check outside here. Our flaps are clean. Oh, look at that. We got people with us. There's K-Train. Let's go. How's it going tonight, K-Train? Hope you're having a good day. Where's Adam at? Steeper Throne's got to be back there somewhere. There he is. He's back there in the Bonanza. We got to fly this one manually and figure out why my autopilot. I can't wait to get up and see how the view in person. Oh, dude, it is the most incredible thing that you are ever going to experience, dude. Seriously, it's amazing. All right, so we are heading off to Allegheny County. in our little Cirrus SR22 and since we have this look at this like see what I'm saying like you barely look at the ailerons out there you just barely breathe watch the wingtip on the horizon you just literally breathe on this thing and it's so smooth guys I'm not kidding you it's the most finite control it's so good So we're heading over to Allegheny County. So I was telling everybody, if you guys are just tuning in, um, the guy who's following behind me out there, Steeper Throne, there he is, uh, my buddy Adam. He uh, worked on a B-17 restoration project, and so we did some air-to-air -air filming with those guys, and he was in it. Oh, dude, Donovan, I'm telling you, bro, it is, it's the best thing since sliced bread. I'm not kidding. I was so blown away the first landing I did in it a little bit ago. Because I like did one to set it up and make sure I didn't get on stream and be like, Hey guys, check it out, I got this, and it doesn't work. That would have been awful. So, um, yeah, it's when I get the Bravo Quadrant, and then I'm going to order um, some radio gear and start building a whole cockpit set up. I got my eye on, they have a G1000 set up, just like these two panels, uh, from what's called Real Sim Gear. Yeah, it's like $1,100, so that might have to wait for a little while, but pretty amazing anyhow. We got our friends with us right here. Look at that. That's one for the picture books, boys. Beauteous. Any interest in flying in VR? You know what? Um, I do. Um, the only problem for me with VR is as a streamer, um, it's really hard because um, I can't see my chats if I'm inside of a VR headset. So I'm trying to figure out how, how I can do something like that. So the other option is to build, um, to build like a... Uh, to put like a 4K TV, like build a dash panel for this thing, like a real airplane. Put a 4K TV like 55 inches right here as my main screen, like right up against so it's as if I'm looking out the window of the plane. And then have two more of them down the sides of you. And then this way um, I could sit in here and then my cameras could just be behind me. And I could literally sit in here like this. And then I would have one camera, like a GoPro, probably up in front to give the front view, which would still allow you to see out the side windows as if it was mounted in a real airplane. So I definitely want to consider that. Um, and then this way, you know, we would have it as if it was VR, because you guys could see everywhere. And then I could just look like I was flying in a real airplane out the windows. So... I think they make plugins to see your Twitch chat in the headset, or you could have the chat read out. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I might look into it. I mean, I think it would be amazing. There's no doubt about it. Portage County. I've actually landed there before. Freedom. I actually uh, did ultralight stuff out of Freedom Air Park right there, too. Kind of cool. Oh, look at this. Right out the windows, guys. Oh, how cool is this? Amazing. The other thing, too, about this flight yoke is, like, I'm flying hands-off right now without autopilot. So, it's pretty locked in.
I have the original vibe, but I haven't tried it in this game since they updated the game to with support for it. Oh, dude, that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, I've seen some guys that have done some uh, some pretty cool VR stuff, and I mean, it looks amazing. I did try out um, VR, my next born neighbor programs and does some stuff for VR, and uh, he let me try his uh, uh, his Oculus, and it was pretty cool. I definitely enjoyed it. I'm so looking forward. My my friend has a Cirrus like this, so I fly with him a lot in the summertime. He lives in Florida during the winter, so I'm looking forward to getting back in the airplane here come come springtime. Beautiful day for flying today over to Allegheny. I need to know who K-Train is. I can't remember. Tell him to give me a ride. Oh, dude, it's he's he's super cool about that kind of stuff. The only problem is, is I think you're pretty far away. A Cirrus is like a Porsche with wings. It's pretty nice. I better have gas money. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing I definitely always try to help out with is fuel because it's not cheap. Like here, let's see what we're burning per hour right now, and that'll give us an idea. Let's just call it $5 a gallon, and we're burning 13 gallons an hour right now. So 13 times 5, you're talking 60, 70 bucks an hour to fly, just for fuel. What's fuel like in a plane? Can you recall a specific fill up? Um, it depends on how many gallons your aircraft holds. Like every airplane's different. Like certain gallons have wing tanks, certain ones have wing tanks. Like the one plane I used to fly was uh, about 36 gallon total. It had uh, 18 gallon wing tanks in it. And so 36 gallons was full of fuel. So if you go, you know, 36 times 10 is 360, so 36 times 5 would be, what, 100, so $180 if you're at 5 bucks a gallon for 100 low lead. So it just depends on what fuel prices are. I haven't priced ab gas in a few years because I haven't flown in a little while. Um, so we'd have to look and see what it's, what it's at, but it's not cheap, unfortunately. I've only flown a 172. I'd like to fly a Cirrus. Oh, dude, they're super nice. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've got time in a 150, 152, 172, and then a decent amount of time in the Cirrus. And yeah, the Cirrus is definitely by far my favorite airplane that I've ever flown. Plot well in this type of aircraft. Um, then going to the old school airplanes, which is what I learned in, is a Taylor Craft. Oh gosh, dude, that's probably my favorite. I understand that's why I'm trying to get knowledge. Oh yeah, dude, no worries, man. I will I will tell you everything that I know. I don't know a lot, but I know some. I get to run 91. He, he. Oh yeah, you're very lucky. Yeah, we our one Taylor craft that we had had an STC for auto gas, and so we were able to run a little bit cheaper in that airplane because we could put car gas in it. Um, but there were some things we had to change. Um, the ethanol and some of the stuff that's in car gas, we had to change some of the hoses because the old school hoses on the 1946 and there was like um, some type of a shellac on the inside of the gas tank 
um, in the old airplanes and so we had to change out some of that stuff in order to make the STC like compliant um, but once we were able to run car gas it definitely got cheaper that's for sure but a Taylor craft you're only doing a max of about 95 to 100 miles an hour maybe 105 if you have a decent speed prop on it and it's kind of you know you're not going anywhere fast like you know here we're, we're back down you know two-thirds throttle and we're still doing 142 knots so yeah he did it so i didn't get to be part of the entire process donovan but i know that that's some of the stuff i helped him do some of the change outs and stuff just because um i guess that there was some type of a shellac in those tanks and then it would like gum it all up in your carb so yeah so cruising speed in a cirrus sr20 um i think is a little lower than the sr22 um, but the SR-22, like you can see, I'm, I'm doing 142. So that seems about right. I think if you powered all the way up, you could probably get 160 or 155 out of it, depending on wind conditions. There, let's see what we can do. We'll keep the VSI level here and see if we can get a little faster. Yeah, like, see, we're creeping up pretty good. Reminding me of the SR-71 joke. Oh, I love that, dude. That is the best thing in the whole world. The first time I ever heard that, I was losing it. Yeah, like, see, at full power, I mean, we're at, at level flight and even climbing a tick, and we're 160. So if you wanted to get somewhere fast, I imagine you probably could. I mean the Taylor Craft, but didn't realize the SR-20 was so nice on power. Yeah. Yeah, Taylor Craft, if you backed it down to cruise, you would cruise at about 90, 85 maybe. And, dude, it would burn four gallons an hour. So four gallons an hour at car gas at 250, now you're, now you're talking. Now you're at, you know, eight, four gallons an hour at two bucks is eight bucks. So about 10 to 12 bucks an hour to fly. So, yeah, definitely a better situation with, um, with the, uh, the Taylor Craft than it is the Cirrus. But, you know, the Cirrus is going twice as fast, so. Oh, yeah, oh, you burn less than three. Very nice. Yeah, see, that's awesome. Okay, train was Adam's brother. Oh, nice! We are working on... Our formation skills. So cool, dude. I'm so glad to have you guys along. Uh, he told me about your honeycomb Bravo, and I completely was like, well, I'll hold off until I make sure I get a yoke first, because I don't want to have a throttle quadrant without a yoke. Now I got it, and I'm so mad. Adam's like, he just sold it. Oh, no. <laughs> but it's cool. I'll find one eventually. Donovan needs to be giving rides. Heck, yeah. I'm sure if someone wants to pay for gas, I'm sure most pilots are, are, are okay with taking a passenger. There's Salem. I used to uh, I used to do some runway practice in there at Salem. There's a phone pole at one end of the runway at that airport right there that is absolutely nerve-wracking coming in. It's right at the end of this runway. Right. So like right here on the end of the runway, there's a pole. And it sticks up and it's so nerve wracking. Kind of hate it. The Bravos are sitting with all the PS5s. <laughs> right. Exactly. Dude, seriously. I do it all the time. I come to Oklahoma, and I will to anyone if you meet my useful load requirements. Heck yeah, dude. So cool. What an awesome community we have so far, guys. I'm so happy you guys are here, and I appreciate all of you. Thanks for joining me on my little Cirrus flight tonight and my little honeycomb test here. I'm telling you, I cannot say enough about this. I mean, this thing is as real as it gets, guys. So good. 
I'm excited to butter the bread on my landing over here, too, because I have to run. All right, Wet Pilot, thanks so much for stopping in. I appreciate it. Have yourself a good evening. So many little places to land if you ever had an engine out. I mean, you could shoot a 747 into some of these fields if you had to. Which is amazing. I'm really, uh, uh happy with the way the trims and the stuff are working in this yoke too because I couldn't get the Logitech to lock in as nicely as this like my vertical speed indicator has barely moved throughout the the flight I mean I'm climbing just a tick right now but like it has barely moved throughout the flight and like the trim clicks are actually you know legitimate your twitch picks up some weird word sequences yeah I don't know I just turned the chat bot on its normal feature and for whatever reason, it's it's kind of mean. So, sorry about that. I gotta work on getting some of those uh, chat commands worked out properly. I'm looking around and terrible at keeping my course. There are a few comments on Facebook and YouTube. I don't think they're coming through on your end. Oh, that's weird. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. Why is that not coming through? I am so sorry, guys. Uh, Godian, we are heading to Allegheny County. Michael Micasina, hey, dude, check my chat from a few minutes ago. You may have missed it. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't know why those aren't coming through onto my other screen. Oh, it's cool that you have a real plane steering. Oh, yeah, Godian, this is so much fun, dude. Hey, Enrico, how's it going, dude? Turn it off and turn it on again. Yeah, I know. I had a little router issue earlier, so I had to do a reboot. Yeah, I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know why that's not coming through. Hey, what's up, Brian? That should be your slogan, butter the bread. I know, dude. I'm here. What happened earlier? Um... Riding Fred, oh my gosh, everybody, guys. Like, I'm so sorry I missed all that stuff. Huffron, thanks so much for liking the stream. Tom Horney has liked the stream. Tony Keller. Thank you so much, guys. I'm so sorry. I have no idea. We had a little router issue earlier. My uh, internet router went off, and um, I had to reboot everything. So that's why it, like, came on for a second and went back off. But, yeah, I'm so sorry I missed you guys over here. G1000 does that to me sometimes, too. Yeah, I don't know why. That's kind of a little glitch tonight. It seemed like I have a handful of those everywhere. I like your shirt. Oh, yeah, we got the the Eastern Blanding Utah campus. I actually went out there with flight tests a number of years ago, and we did a demonstration um, with drone flying out there. So, Whip Pilot, thank you so much for letting me know I missed those guys. I am so sorry. Marcos, Carl, Patagonia has many people flying there on the big mountains as well very nice we are working on our formation skills no Facebook chat shout outs I'm so sorry guys I feel like so ridiculous that that's not coming across on my multi stream let me see if I can turn it off and turn it back on the multi stream chat window let's see if it'll refresh okay there it refreshed so, Facebook and YouTube, if you guys are still here, let me know. Hit me in the chats and let me know that uh, you can hear me and everything's good now. So sorry about that, guys. Back on my course here. Alright, let's check and see what we have going for uh, destination. Distance 41 miles. All right. Michael Micasini, are you ready for the Horizon Hobby 2-meter Draco? You know, I haven't flown much in RC, um, and so I didn't know much about it, but I will check it out for sure. Thank you, Michael. I'm glad you guys stuck around. Uh, Facebook, guys, is anybody still left on Facebook? Facebook. 
I'm gonna message my one buddy on here and let him know that I wasn't ignoring everybody. Chat was not refreshing. It's fixed now. There we go. All right, let's see. Faded Adam, Donovan, to be honest, I live in Missouri. We could definitely work something out. Oh, dude, that's super cool. Pre-order this week. I am certainly going to check that out, Michael. I want to get back into Flying RC. It just stinks because there's only so much time in the day, you know? All right. 40 miles out should be there momentarily I got to get my aileron trims adjusted on here How much is the pre-order cost on the Draco Michael I'm in Pittsburgh, KS, every other weekend. We could try and work something out this summer. Oh, that's so cool. Isn't that awesome, guys? Look at the connections we're able to make this day and age. We could have never connected with stuff like this before. It's pretty awesome. Using it on the 18th, I believe. There's been a sneak peek, but it's not out yet to pre-order. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'll definitely keep my eye out on it, though, and see what it looks like. I'd definitely be interested. I have no issues with gas either, if it's okay if I send a friend request. You guys can always, too, um, I have a community coffee house chat for Discord, so you guys can also connect in there and feel free. There, we got our Facebook audience back. So sorry about that, guys. My brother said he just bought that headset yesterday. Which one is that? The cloud one that I'm wearing, Adam? The HyperX Clouds? I love these, man. This has been one of the best headsets I think I've ever had. Hey, Kevin Drain, thanks so much for following on Facebook. I appreciate it. Thanks for stream sniping, too. Yeah, the one I have on. Yeah, I have these for my daughter and my wife and myself. We used Turtle Beaches and stuff for quite a while. And, guys, I got to be honest. I was disappointed with the way those things turned out. So, uh, they broke. And, the like, we're, when you take them on and off, like, the little things up here, these are metal. And these were plastic on the Turtle Beaches, and they all broke. The link was invalid. Well, that's strange. Man, I'm having all kinds of tech issues tonight. I'm so sorry, everybody. What's happening? My Facebook chat ain't coming on. My Discord link ain't working. I'll have to go in and see if I can re-update it tomorrow or tonight. I'll I'll be back on again tomorrow, guys, so you guys can re-update it then. It's probably Twitch has been acting up the last few days. Yeah, there's been some stuff on a lot of the platforms I've heard that have been kind of acting weird. Xiao Li, thanks so much for following. I appreciate it on Facebook. Welcome to the coffee house, everybody. And I do not know how to pronounce that name, but thank you for liking my stream. You're awesome. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. All right, let's check our GPS. We are 28 nautical miles out, bearing 141. Let's see if we can keep this thing... Keep this thing afloat till we get there. I didn't clean my window again, guys. Look at this. I'm a potato. 
Look at I got smudges on my window. Oh, look at that. Via Sim. Would you say to making a group couple day track to Oshkosh sometime? Oh, dude, I would love that. Let's do it. Probably overload. Yeah, I know. It seems like it. Yeah, Adam, that would be awesome, dude. I would love that. That'd be super cool to get a bunch of people together. What type of plane do you have? Curious. I'm looking at new planes that I haven't seen. Marcos, oh, thanks so much. I love this. I programmed in a couple views um, into the... Uh, you can hold Control, Alt, and then hit a button like 1, 2, 3, or 4. So I've got Control 1 is my regular view, or is this view. Control 2 is this view, so I can still see my steam gauges down here. And then Control 3 is just a little bit different perspective. And then 4 is uh, a little bit more nose forward, but still see the whole display. So, yeah, kind of fun. Flying up the river here. I didn't get to see as much when we flew this before, Adam, because uh, it was pretty cloudy that day. So we were up above the cloud cover and in the cloud cover some, too. The weather wasn't very nice when we flew that day, unfortunately. And then the next thing we're going to do is go try to shoot some landings and butter the bread in a couple different airplanes that I want to try out with this yoke. Alright, let's look at ATC and see if we need to... Now we're good. We're not close enough yet. Yeah, that'd be so much fun, Adam. We should get, like, Piper Cub bush planes and make the trip. Plot out all of our courses and all that stuff beforehand. And, like, yeah, that'd be super cool. Pittsburgh International. I have flown out of there with flight tests a number of times for some of the things we did. You got to try some landing challenges with the new yoke. Yes, I agree. We need to do a few of those. Now my computer's crashing. Oh, it didn't. Oh my gosh, I about flipped out. So the next thing I have to do is order my RAM kit. I'm really, really edging the uh, playing with fire with only 16 gigs of RAM in with this air with this uh, game. So I need to I need to get that handled. <laughs> barrel barrel roll not right now i want to try to stay on my course i'll do some silliness though when i get into the new airplane after we make this landing here in allegheny i don't know how a serious barrel rolls honestly Um, yes, I've got a, like, so I did some checks, Michael, and my CPU, it's our uh, 8 core Ryzen 7, and it clocks at about 4.2 or 4.3, uh, 
Um, but the problem is my is my RAM. I only have 16 gig of RAM, and that's not enough. Like, there's some cities in this game that are 20 gigs of RAM just by themselves, and that doesn't leave anything for Windows or you know anything else to run. So, um, I have a Ryzen 8 core Ryzen 7, and then I've got a 5700 XT Radeon card. So my graphics is, um, it's at about 60% when I'm running this. CPU is only at about 35%, but my, my RAM memory was at 100%. I'm buying some Trident Z Neo soon for mine. Yeah, I'm buying a, a, a RAM kit for mine. Um, I found it already. It's, uh, it might even have been Trident. Is that, is Trident made by, is, is that G-Skill? Or is Trident its own company? I can't remember. I, I've heard of Trident Z, but I thought G-Skill... G-Skill makes Rip Jaws and a few of the other ones, but... Um, I found a 64 gig kit with um, 3600 clock speed for timing, and it's uh, only a 14 on latency. So it's extremely fast memory. It was about 400 bucks. So I want to get that for replicating these cities and stuff whenever we're flying in this game. And then also I do some editing on that machine in DaVinci Resolve. So having that, you know, extra memory for doing color grading and stuff, it would be also helpful. Look at this guy's flying right along a river here. Yeah, Neo is optimized for Ryzen. Oh, okay, I may look and make sure that I get that that then. All right, I'm going to deviate course for a minute. We're going to go down here and look at Pittsburgh. Hey, so thanks so much, Donnie, for the like. I appreciate it. Welcome to the coffee house. We're doing a little flight from uh, Burke Lake Front in Cleveland, Ohio, over to Allegheny International, or not International, but Allegheny County. Pittsburgh's the international one back there. Um, but, uh, yeah, just flying a little Cirrus SR22 and trying out the new honeycomb yoke for the first time. And, gotta be honest, absolutely incredible incredible piece of equipment it is the smoothest thing it's it's incredible so i hope you're having a great night tonight donnie thanks for liking the stream don't forget everybody to hit the follow button and the notification button help us out with all of the uh algorithms on the different platforms get us seen there's the home of the Pittsburgh Steelers. We flew past the Cleveland Browns Stadium as we were uh, leaving Cleveland. So there's the rival Pittsburgh Steelers Stadium. Oh wow, the seats are even yellow. Check it out. That's pretty legit. So one of the cool parts about this, um, there was a submarine right here in the water that I got to go in and tour when we went to the Science Center. And I want to say the Science Center is right here. We went over to the Pittsburgh Science Museum, and it was super fun. So if you live in that area and you've never been, it's so worth it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this building right there. Maybe. Unless it was over here. I thought it was closer to the water, though. I could be wrong. Yeah, maybe it was over here closer to the water. I'm a little confused because I'm not sure exactly where I'm at. Yeah, I think it's this building. Yep, because it, it's right on the water. Yeah, there it is right there. Yep, there's the science museum right under us. Really cool place to visit. Alright, 
Let's go get back on course here. The Cleveland soccer team stadium is pretty cool. I've never been there, even though I live in Cleveland, believe it or not. Kind of weird. Alright, there we go. We are leaving Pittsburgh. There's Allegheny County right over there. Alright, see you later, Pittsburgh. Let's go ahead and get ourselves set up for a right-hand pattern. We'll climb up to about 2,500 or 3,000 so we can enter the pattern at 3,000. Go ahead and contact them on approach. Nearest airport, Allegheny County, Toon Tower. Request a full stop landing. Tower Coffee House, November 42257 Echo is four miles northwest with Echo to land. Coffee House, November 42257 Echo Tower. Enter left traffic. Have you ever been to that stadium, Marcos? Oh, dude, Adam, that Spitfire looks amazing, bro. All right, acknowledge pattern entry instructions. set up for a landing, boys and girls. Coffee House 57 Echo crosswind for runway 28. Alright, let's go ahead and... Start losing off some of this altitude, get ourselves slowed down a little bit so we can get into the pattern here. There we go, that's looking all right. Let's butter the bread, boys and girls. We got this. White arc. Let's get a notch of flaps down on this. Stay our 90 airspeed here. Coffeehouse 57 Echo turning base leg for runway 28. Don't get so high. <laughs> right. I don't know if that would fly on a family friendly channel. Butter the bread though, Brian. Yes. Butter the bread should definitely be the slogan. Oh, it's gonna crash me out. You freaking suck, bro. Are you joking? Dude, there must be like some type of an atomic like energy in outer space tonight or something. Like, honestly. What is happening? Oh, well, that's not happening, guys. Hey, Lucy Pan Man, Butter the Bread King. Yeah, um, how are you today? Uh, Brian, I'm doing good, except for everything like is falling apart. 
bro. I have no idea what's happening tonight. Like, I got my new yoke and it's amazing, but like my computer has crashed. My streaming computer went down at the beginning of the stream and like it went, my stream came up and then went off like five seconds later in my countdown. And then I had a, um, yeah, I just think that, dude, is there like a, a, a cosmic storm going on up in space that's like EMPing all of our freaking electronics? All right, guys, we're going to go depart in the air at Allegheny County and do that landing again. I also know that Ryzen likes four channels uh, over two, even for the same amount of RAM. Yeah, um, I'm definitely checking in. I'm probably going to get Trident Z if that's optimized for Ryzen. I have been having issues with my internet. Yeah, Brian, that's been kind of a weird thing. So, like, honestly, we've, we've had... Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. But, man, is this yoke amazing. Honestly, I've been having problems keeping my PC staying alive. Oh, dude, that sucks, man. I know you said something the other day about that, that it was having some trouble. That's terrible. Now I have to reboot the flight sim. Yeah, it could be a combination of everything, but it's just super weird. I think maybe some satellites got hit by debris because people all over the world are having internet issues. It's really possible. Make sure it is Trident Z Neo. I definitely will. And uh, hopefully they have RGB on that because I have RGB for days in my computer and I really like it. Oh, man, guys, this feels bad when stuff like this happens in the middle of a stream, and I was literally setting up to butter the bread, ladies and gentlemen. It's probably because I didn't have my aviator glasses on when I was flying. I mean, you can't be a legit streamer unless you have aviator glasses on, guys. Ain't no respectable pilot out there not flying with those on. All right. I was on 5G internet. I switched to 2.5G to see if it works. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's been kind of a mess today. Like I said, I've had a little bit of sprinklings of problems throughout my whole thing. So I know it's not just one little thing. Like my PC is literally brand new and all of my equipment is brand new. My The streaming computer that I'm using is a six core Mac with 32 gigs of RAM and like a huge Radeon Vega 64 graphics card. So it's, it's definitely not a problem. Yeah, Marcos, it's really strange. Michael McCasino, good night. I got to be up in four and a half hours for work. Dude, thanks so much for spending time tonight hanging out. I appreciate it. Always good to see you. Again, sorry for the YouTube and the Facebook chats uh, not refreshing into my stream. I really apologize about that. Wow, Brian, that's terrible, dude. 400 megabits down to 230. It's still all these five companies switching to 5G messing with our... Yeah, that's probably true also, Lucid, having everybody messing up with stuff all the time. All right, we're going back there. We're buttering the bread, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go Allegheny... County... I'm landing in Allegheny County, guys. All right, so let's depart from right here. Fly, and then it's gonna put me at nighttime because I forgot to change it. But that's okay, because we're buttering the bread in this thing. I, I need to get a good landing in here. Are you going to try out the new Fortnite season? Definitely. I'm never going to quit playing Fortnite. I'm just going to complain about it the whole time that I play it with because of how many people hack. It's really getting bad, dude. Alright. Air nearest airports. Allegheny County. Toon Tower. Let's change weather, get ourselves some daylight so we can see what the heck's happening. Air 
request a full stop landing to Allegheny County. Tower Sierra's Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra is five miles west with Echo to land. See, there is something seriously going wrong because now it's saying that I'm Sierra Alpha X-ray Golf Sierra, and that's not my that's not my call sign. It says Chemex on the dash. And it says Chemex out here, but why didn't it say Coffee House? Yeah, see, something's definitely weird. Ever since the Windows update the other day, that's when I actually had problems. Alright, we're at 2500, so we're right at pattern altitude. That's good. I'm just terrible at it. People are so much better than me on it now. Yeah, I like Fortnite. I love that game. It just... Fortnite is terrible, sorry to say. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on. Also, I started a streaming page called Molo One Gaming because a bunch of Philippine friends said I look like a famous actor, Dennis Trillo. Nice! That's awesome. Did you get a bunch of hits off of it, Brian? Yeah, something's way wrong, guys. Like, my trims are going down to, like, negative something. Like, it's just being really bizarre. Yeah, I did. I got... Utilize autopilot for a total of 600 miles. I don't have autopilot on. Now my autopilot works. Oh my goodness, guys. Are you kidding me right now? There we go. We're about to crash, but now I got my autopilot turned off. Alright, let's try a landing again, shall we? I can't wait to get a trim wheel like a real plane. Alright, let's see if we can get back in here and butter the bread. That's the slogan, guys. Remember. Alright, we're back in the pattern. Cirrus 57 Echo turning it downwind for runway 28, Allegheny County. Start streaming next month while I wait for the bike to get paid off, and I'll be streaming Euro Truck Simulator 2. Hey, I'll watch, dude. That's a fun game to watch. Go take some loads of loads of coal and loads of stuff over to the destinations. That's a fun game. Uh, Mariner Halley, this one guy that I follow uh, from the UK who does flying simulations. Um, was playing that today. Pretty fun. Alright, let's bleed our speed back here a little bit. Acknowledge landing. Clear to land runway 280, hey, LJ Meeks has followed, and Dua Junquiera Doval has liked the stream. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it. We're just trying to land a Cirrus in here with the new honeycomb yoke that I got. Let's go ahead and back some flat, drop a notch of flaps into here. Cirrus 57 Echo turning base leg for runway 28.
Series 5, 7 Echo, continuous turn to final, runway 28. We have definitely made our runway. Let's go ahead and get our second notch of flaps in here. Maintain our airspeed as we come down. And see if we can't butter the bread, guys. All right, we should be 90 coming down, 500 on our final. Cirrus is kind of sink a little bit, so this is a good approach. Oh my gosh, the ailerons feel so good. Look at that. Look at the lift of the nose as I just barely breathe back on this thing. 85 right across the numbers. Looking good. Let's just flare just a little and just hold her off to stall. Look at that. Look at how I can maintain my, my horizon. Oh my. Oh my. Let the nose wheel down. Guys. Guys, did you just see that? Are you kidding me right now? Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this thing is absolutely incredible. Not mad about that. Cirrus 57 Echo, clear of runway 28. Dude, buttered with toast. Sold, I'm ordering one. Donovan, I'm telling you, dude. It, it's ridiculous. I mean, you guys have been watching me ballooning landings and ballooning my approaches, and now you get this thing down there, you set your horizon on the nose, and just, just, I mean, you just barely pull back with two fingers, and it is baller. Yes, I acknowledge ground handoff. Yeah, that was so stinking cool. Not upset, guys. All right, now it's time to go do a couple other little screw around things to see how this thing flies and then we'll go do a couple landing challenges all right so i want to go to my home airport where i learned to fly and fly the cub out of here once and see how it flies shoot a shoot a landing into a little 1200 foot grass strip across the lake all right world map let's get the cub out once departure from two delta one All right, let's go. Let's depart runway 27. Let's do this in clear skies with a nice evening sun, backspace, and let's fly. All right, let's see if we can butter a couple in this guy. And, dude, I'm serious. You guys got to see... Actually, if you go on uh, my Facebook page or my... Um... Instagram, you'll see I showed the switches and stuff on it right before I went live. All right, here we go, guys. Ready to fly. All right, parking brake is off. Carb heat is off. Flaps are clean. Barber traffic. We'll just call it a Taylor Craft because it's close. 57 Echo departing runway 27. All right, it's just a little pressure to get the tail up. Oh yeah, guys, look at that. I mean, dude, are you joking? And watch this. I mean, it is literally butter. This thing is so good, and I love the 90 degrees because when you turn. It doesn't do like the the Logitech one and like ramp up exponentially. It just it's it's just it's what you see is what you get. Like it actually turns the amount that you think it should. This is so good, guys. All right, let's go ahead. Barber traffic, five seven echo turning downwind for runway two seven. I love these old planes. This is what we learned to fly in right here, boys. I 
Like, look at this. I'm not even kidding. Watch the horizon, guys. Watch. You just barely push, and it just slowly brings it down, and then you just let off the back pressure. Pull just to... I mean, it's so good, guys. <laughs> every bit of worth every penny. But I got mine for retail price of 249 though, so don't let a scalper, like, try to take you for everything you have, because... They are trying to do that currently. Barber traffic. Cub 57 Echo turning downwind for runway 27. Just floating along. Chugga chugga. Two, two. Correct altimeter setting. Well, let's get that taken care of, shall we? I just fly this airport by looking anyway. I don't even need an altimeter anymore at this point. A little up trim as we turn final. Barber traffic. Piper Cub 57 Echo turning final approach for runway 27. Right, let's kick an old-fashioned side slip into here. Oh, look at that. So good. Use that as the brakes to slow me down a little bit here. Bring it right on in. Oh my gosh, it's so smooth. Look at this. And now we're just going to flare ever so slightly. Get that nose right on the horizon down there. A little more, a little more. Look at this. Oh, yeah, guys. A wheels up landing. Look at that. One wheel landing. Tail still in the air. Oh, yeah. That's butter. All right. One more in this airplane, and then we'll go do another one. Even Logitech stuff is getting resold for a lot for a while. Yeah, I noticed that, too everything was like all the flight sim gear was getting just completely just scalped like it was really bad all right let's do another one nothing more fun than a slip i know dude aren't those so much fun i love that you're just kind of coming in for a coming into the runway at a 45 like that you're looking out your side window as you're coming down pretty fun All right, we are back up to pattern altitude already. This thing climbs like a rocket ship. I love this little airplane. But do you see what I'm saying? Like my turns there, just the, the other yoke was just very electric feeling. It just, because it had Expo built into it and it just didn't have the feel this does. Like I, I'm raving about this thing. I filmed the unboxing, so I'm gonna definitely do a little bit more with uh, uh, of a video for it as I get using it a little bit more. Harbor traffic, 57 Echo downwind for runway 27. I'd like to get a PC to play with, this looks fun. Oh dude, Faded Adam, you could learn so much about flying by getting something like this and getting it set up right. Like if you actually do true simulation and keep it realistic, you could learn a ton for flying. All right, we're nice and high as per my flight instructor's uh, teaching. He always taught me to come in with some altitude because if you lost a motor right here, you still make it to the runway. Watching my airspeed. Barber traffic, 57 Echo, turning final approach for runway 27. I want to be in the real plane to first, to be honest. Oh, yeah, I, I don't blame you. But I'm just saying, if you didn't have any other choice, this definitely is a good, is a good alternative to learn a bunch of stuff while you're, you know, 
while you're waiting to get in the real airplane. There it is, guys. This is so good. I'm not even gonna... I'm just not even lying. Alright. Steer off to the side here a little bit. Brakes. Oh, the little mag switch to turn everything off. Yeah, legit. Alright, let's try something. I, I love this, so we're gonna do it. I want to see if I can butter the bread in my little ultralight real quick. And then we'll do try some of those landing challenges before I get my butt in bed. <coughs> World map. Get my ultralight out. Departure airport. Barber traffic. Flight conditions. Looks good. Let's go. Get our little weed eater with uh, with wings. I got my IFR written next week. Wow, dude, that's amazing. Good luck, dude, seriously. Heck yeah, bro, that's awesome. Yeah, heck yeah, dude. You'll have to let us all know how that goes. That's amazing. People. Private pilot's license was actually fun. Yeah. I must go shower smelling funky at the moment. <laughs> yeah, running and mountain biking will do that to you, Brian. Thanks for hanging out. And again, like I said, everybody on Facebook and YouTube, I greatly apologize that that didn't update. I apologize so much. So I will see you guys uh, who are taking off uh, tomorrow. Enjoy your night. Heck yeah, dude. I will be on again tomorrow, so I will see you then. Hashtag notify, or exclamation point notify, I should say. I think you guys all hit that already. Alright, let's throttle back a little here. Cut the pattern a little shorter since we're in this thing. No sense flying a pattern like a jetliner when you're in an ultralight, right? butter the bread guys
What? This game is screwed up tonight. That was a beautiful landing, guys. That was absolutely gorgeous. Oh, okay, let's go do some man. Uh, let's go do some challenges. Something's messed up tonight. I, I'm gonna have to go through this all. I may have to uninstall this game and like do a reinstall of it because, like I said, ever since there was a game update and a Windows update the other day, it's just been super weird. That was definitely not a bad landing. Y'all saw it. All right, let's go to challenges, activities, landing challenges. Ooh, I know what we need to try. Since Ride and Fred beat my uh, Bonanza into Nice Coat de Chouer, we're going to try that with this yoke and see if it makes a big difference because I kind of feel like it's going to. Let's do this, guys. What kind of business do you have? You said you own a business. Yes, I do. I uh, do video production for a living. So I own a video production company. All right, our gear is coming down. We're at 90 knots. We're a little high on our glide slopes. Let's just power back just a tick. Pappy's going to be yelling at me here soon. All right, we're coming into the glide slope just a tick high, but that's okay. 500 on final. Pappy lights look nice. Let's get that nose up where it belongs. Clicker two of trim to help us maintain. Let's get lined up on the runway here a little bit. Look at that. We're right on glide slope. Looking nice. a little bit here. Glide slope is it two lights looking good. I think we got this guys. This is looking nice. Touchdown just a little before, but that's all right. Let's try again. That's cool. Getting to stream at lunch and stuff is awesome. Yeah, I like it. It's I work from home, and okay, let's check our position against our friends. All right, he's got me by 9,000. Or no, that's 1,199,000, and I'm 1,105,000. So he's got me by like 80-something thousand. All right, let's try again. He beat me on there. Riding Fred. Yeah, streaming at lunchtime is super fun. Um, it, the video production has been what I've done now for probably 17, 18 years, and I really enjoy it. I do uh, television commercial work. Um, I'm doing a ton of corporate training videos at the moment, which is cool. Need to maintain just a little bit more power as I was coming around that last time. I 
and now my computer crashed again. Guys, I'm gonna probably have to call it tonight and figure out what the heck is happening. I can't keep having this crashing on me like this. This is crazy. So, yeah, I guess that's gonna have to be the end of it for today. I'm gonna have to just reboot everything, reboot my internet routers, reboot, uh, and who knows, it could just be, I don't know. I, it could be the servers for the game. Like, that's three times in one night, and I haven't had a crash in three weeks. So, I, yeah, I don't know. So, anyway, well, it's about that time anyway, because it's after midnight, and I do have a lot of work I've got to get done tomorrow. So, I will see you guys again tomorrow night. Overall, though, let's recap. This right here is butter, and it is absolutely worth every penny that they charge for it, and probably more. So I'm super excited. I can't wait to find that Bravo. Um, as soon as I find one of those, I am going to have that in here. And then we'll start building the cockpit with some radio panels and tuning and all kinds of good stuff. So anyway, you guys have a great night. Thanks again for hanging out with me. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, guys.